Welcome to my Twigs 2 project. It was suggested that I make video uh, recordings of this, these guitars that I build. This one is Twigs 2 because I've built one in this manner, so I call it Twigs 1. What you are looking at is a custom guitar that is made from crepe myrtle branches. As you can see, I've taken sections of a crepe myrtle that I cut down in my backyard and I have joined them together and blended them to make it look like perhaps this is bent or if you use your imagination, it's a, um, it grew this way. <laughs> Not hardly. Um, each section, I have to blend it together, cut it at the angle I needed or grind it into place. And then what I've done is I'll drill a hole and pin it to the section that it attaches to. So I come around here and you can see this at a joint here. And there's a pin in here, but you can't see it. Here's a little pin here that holds this section in place. I've got other little pins. These, the, I'm calling them pins. They're actually uh, skewer sticks, bamboo skewer sticks. They seem to be working quite well for me. Uh, you can see one here, holds that in place. Um, that, but that's how I do it. I um, get these sections and I drill holes in it and pin it together with these uh, skewer sticks to get the idea of get the shape to make sure it's gonna function correctly before I go and apply epoxy resin to it to hold all this together. And what I do as I'm epoxying it, I'll put uh, wood dust in it. And then that helps me blend it out and smooth it into the joint so it looks like, uh, it, it, there again, it is organic, like it grew that way, is what I'm trying to achieve. Now this section here is double, uh, I've added extra width to this because this is where the pickup will go. It's gonna be electric. And the bridge is gonna go down here. Um, I'm waiting for the fingerboard to come in, the fretboard to come in, and then I'll, I'll finalize how high this needs to be. It's just about right, I think, now, but I don't wanna do anything else to it until I get the, um, the fingerboard in and, and make adjustments to this neck. Now, this neck was interesting. The neck is a, a trunk piece. And as you see, it, it, it's one solid piece. It comes down to about right here. It was solid and I had a, a headstock going on that, but I didn't like it. And then I found this piece of wood that had um, like a, a natural bend to it, like a guitar neck. Now it was angled back a little bit radically, but I thought, well, I can make it work. It's a little narrow. Uh, so I'm going to end up with uh, two tuning pegs on this side and four on this side. And I'm going to have to pin, uh, pin the strings so they can break an angle to come back after it gets off the nut. And I have this slot cut the length of the neck going down into the body a little bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do is take uh, this... Uh, half inch by eighth inch um, steel bar and place it on its edge like this and that in the past has been sufficient to keep the neck from uh, warping uh, this it once it's uh, put in here it, it it seems to stabilize just fine I don't use adjusting rods I probably could but I don't uh, so far I haven't had to and I haven't had any problems. So that's about it. Um, I just thought I would uh, show this to you and this is a starting point uh, for the progress from here out and maybe in in the future when I start another one I'll start uh, the, the uh, video sessions a little bit earlier
in the in the startup of the project. Um, a little bit of what it looks like back here. I'm going to go back and touch some of this up. Don't like that. I liked it to be filled in so I can smooth them out like that and blend everything in. So anyway, I guess that's enough for today. That catches you up on uh, what I'm doing here. And hopefully that will give somebody out there an idea of that they haven't thought of before and inspire them to maybe try their own hand at creating a twigs type of guitar or instrument. So that's it for now.